Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, everybody. I want to welcome you to Daily Dose of the Bible. Today, we are starting with the topic, Promises of God to His Children. And we will anchor our Bible reading on 1, Isaiah 54, verse 10 to Isaiah 54 verse 6, 15 and 3 Isaiah 54 verse 17 so I I want us to read Isaiah the three verses together number one is Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10 he says the mountains and hill may crumble but my love for you will never end. I will keep forever my promise of peace. So says the Lord who loves us. Thank you. Then uh, verse 17, uh, 15. If anyone attacks you, he, do he does it without my consent. Whoever fights against you will fall. And verse 17. But no weapon will be able to hurt you. You will have an answer for all who accuse you. I will defend my servants and give them victory. The Lord has spoken. Thank you very much. Yes, the, our Bible verse today on this daily dose of the Bible is talking about promises of God to his children. That Isaiah 54 verse 10 is saying that The mountains and hill may crumble, but the love of God will never end. And then God went as far as to say that he will keep forever his promise of peace. So what the Bible is saying here is that no matter the circumstances, that's what is referring as hills and mountains may crumble. No matter what is happening, no matter the difficulties we are facing, that God's love for us remains unending. God's love for his children is, will never end. It is a continuous process. So what God is encouraging us to do is to recognize that his love for us is unchanging. His love for us is everlasting. That is what that verse 10 of Isaiah 54 is teaching us. So it left for us to know with faith that God is a loving God, that God loves us no matter the situation. So his love is so strong that he says even mountains and hills can fall, can crumble, but his love will never end. That is why in John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. That is why he gave us Jesus Christ. He came and died for us, so that we have everlasting life, so that our sins will be forgiven, and then we have everlasting life. Therefore, God's love for us is unending. It can never end. It's continuous forever and ever till eternity. So, we Christians should understand that God's love for us is for eternity. Verse 15 of the same Isaiah chapter 54 is saying that whosoever attacks you does it without my consent. Whosoever fights against you will fall. It is God that is still talking. That whosoever that is attacking us, we the Christians, we the children of God, does that without God's consent. <coughs> and therefore, whoever that is attacking or fighting against the children of God will fall. So, it is a promise to us. It's left, to, left for us to believe that God is for us 
and that God is fighting for us such that whoever attacks us, whether we are aware or not, that person does that without God's con consent, and therefore we fall. All our enemies will therefore fall. So we should trust in God, believe in God, since this promise is for us. Therefore, children of God, believe in God, have faith in God, so that all these promises of God will be for you. Verse 17 caps it off. It says, But no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. You will have an answer for all the accusers, and God will defend his people and make them victory and victorious. So that's what God is saying. It is this because of his love that he is saying that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Amen? Amen. So, he's also saying that he will, we will have an answer to our accusers. If anybody, any human being is accusing us, telling lies against us, we will have an answer. And our answer is the Bible. And once we use that answer, all our accusers will run away and they will be defeated. God said, he will defend us and we will be victorious. So, children of God, God is love. That is why he's saying in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10 that his love will never end. Even if the mountains, the hills are crumbling. And we should also know that God also promises us in verse 16 of Isaiah 54 that that whoever that is attacking us or whoever that is fighting for us uh, fighting against us we fall and in that 17 that we have just finished verse 17 God says that no weapon fashioned against us we prosper and uh, we have an answer or answers to our accusers and God caps it all that, who, that he will fight for us, defend us, and make us victorious. And that is the prayer of every Christian. Our job is to believe in God, to know that God is love, he has love for us, he is fighting for us, and is dealing with our enemies every day of our life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. So, thank you listeners, thank you for Listening to the, this particular video we have just presented, once again, I urge you to read the topic again, Promises of God to His Children, and have time to read Isaiah chapter 54, verses 10, verses 15, and verse 17, so that you know the promises of God. And at the end, all glory and honor will be ascribed to God who has all these promises for his children. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.